The American Cancer Society expects more than 230,000 American women to be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. There's a one in eight chance a woman will have invasive breast cancer during her lifetime. Rod Starnes has details on efforts to reduce those numbers. For Patricia Gibbs, the days are easier than they have been for a while. Near the end of last year, she found a lump in her breast. An early diagnosis of a cyst turned into something much more serious on the next visit with her doctor. On the day that I went in, expecting to be there for maybe an hour, hour and a half, it turned into a five-hour appointment. And she told me she was 98% sure, even before the biopsy came back, that it was breast cancer. As with many women, the diagnosis was unexpected and terrifying. It was alarming. My daughter was with me, one of my very close friends was with me, and initially we were just in shock. And then it was the acceptance, and we cried, and then it was, okay, what do I do now? The next chapter in her journey was finding out the type of breast cancer she had. It was bad news. The type was something known as triple negative breast cancer. The triple negative breast cancer is um, a subtype of the breast cancer. It's approximately 17% of all uh, breast cancer diagnosis that um, is more aggressive. It occurs in, in women who are younger. Uh, it um, affects more of um, uh, African American and uh, Latino women. Triple negative breast cancers are missing estrogen and progesterone in and on cancer cells. They're also missing a protein called HER2. That means many breast cancer treatments, which are hormonal therapies, are useless in treating the disease. You have no other medications to use but chemotherapy. Um, not something that every patient looks forward to. Um, and those chemotherapists have to be aggressive. In Patricia Gibbs's case, doctors ran into a complication. During surgery to remove the breast cancer, they found another tumor, this one in her brain. Luckily, the brain tumor turned out to be benign. And amazingly, Dr. Yankov says there was a complete response by the breast cancer. After surgery to remove most of the cancer, Yankov says chemotherapy melted what was left. And that was good news for Gibbs. I was so happy. I, I, I had a rough year. Some other health issues came along with it. And I was so happy when they said that it was the pathology showed that it was completely gone. Dr. Yankov says other triple negative patients could benefit from recent research done at Vanderbilt University. Scientists have found six subtypes of triple negative breast cancer. That could help oncologists tailor individual treatments for future patients. And Gibbs continues to receive radiation treatments to help make sure the cancer doesn't return. She hopes to return to work soon and truly believes she's closer to finally closing the book on breast cancer. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starnes.